here at Big Hill Pond, south of the Big Lake, and we are going to hike down across the boardwalk, which is a pretty area to hike in, and past the fire tower, and then we're going to stay at the Tuscumbia Bend shelter, make some loops around tomorrow and come back. And this is a beautiful day. It's like 70 and sunny and a little bit breezy. It feels really good. It's a perfect, perfect time. Just the beginning of April. We haven't been out hiking for a while. We've been busy this winter. This should be a really nice hike. If I don't, if I don't fall down the, the hill there. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful out here. This is a couple hours from where we live in the Memphis area. So definitely a great place to come. Maybe a park not known about too much, but there are miles and miles of hiking trails here and I think four shelters that you can stay at overnight. Um, but most people go this way towards the boardwalk. This one's kind of old here, but then we've got some new boards in sections. So this is a really cool boardwalk. If, uh, from what I remember, I think it's half a mile long. I'm not sure, but it's pretty long. So I guess that is a lot to maintain. It's real pretty. It takes you over the dismal swamp. Although this doesn't look too dismal, it's pretty. We have some nice little rest areas here and there. We first came to this park 15 years ago when the kids were little. And it's a lot of fun for them to come walk on this. And it's not too far from the parking area. Look how pretty that is though. Okay, we just ran into a snake, it was right in the middle of the trail. Uh, we don't know if he's poisonous or not. Um, fire tower's right up there at the top. We'll probably see that tomorrow. We're going around the base of the fire tower, but this is still western Tennessee. But look at all the rocks. It's like one of the few places you can see something like this around here. So, this is really cool. So, we made it to the Tuscumbia Bend Shelter. Yeah. One of the nicest parts of getting to camp. There's the shelter. And setting up your hammock is that you can relax. Your hammock's like a nice chair or a comfortable swing and a bed. Very cozy. Yeah, you might have to hang them a little higher. Yeah, we're, we're a little low to the ground. To me, this seems pretty luxurious. Okay, we've got our alcohol stove that a friend from our church made for us. Working wonderfully. Boiling our water. Pasta primavera. And maybe some tea. It's morning time. It's about 7.30. And we slept pretty good last night. The high was around 80 and the low was in the upper 50s, you think? We were pretty comfortable. Got a little fire set up over here. We can warm up a little bit. We got the water boiling. You can see the flame on our alcohol stove. So now we can relax, have our oatmeal and coffee. I've got my hammock with bug net because it was pretty mosquito-y last night. So it was really nice to have. And I've got my underquilt down sleeping bag. And it was like maybe upper 50s, so it was pretty comfortable. I slept pretty well. Okay, so we're heading out from the campsite. The shelter's back there. And in the past, it's been hard to find this little side trail to the Tuscumbia Bend shelter. But, um... Somebody has put a lot of really noticeable paint along here. If you saw that bright red marker behind us. So it's a little bit easier to find now, but the first time we came, we had no idea where this thing was. That's a picture of a shelter. Got another little house. Another one. I guess they really wanted to make sure you weren't going to miss it. 
It says shelter written in very large letters. And we came from the observation tower, um, and this is what you would see coming from that direction. Now it looks like the trail continues on here, but no, it goes up there. Somebody wrote trail up there. So some of these trails are a little bit hard to follow, and you kind of have to keep your eye out. Yeah, so this, this point where we were continuing on this trail from the shelter, uh, it was pretty difficult to find. There's a point where the markers stop and you just have to kind of guess which direction you're going. It takes you up the hill, through the woods, up the hill from the shelter, and then you have to come back down and parallel this creek. And you're on this old road here. So, so we made it from the little trail through the woods from the shelter up to this main trail. And there's the tower. It's been a while since we've actually been up in the tower, so we're going to climb it today. That's the direction we came from. Hello. Hello. Be awesome. <sighs> Dave's down there a ways. The whole thing's shaking. From that way. If you went that way, you would head back to the shelter we were at last night, but we are gonna go straight down the hill this way. This is kind of a shortcut, I guess. The steep way down. And we're gonna go back over the boardwalk and then do the azalea loop. So we're back to the uh, boardwalk, and everything is so bright green and so pretty. This is the swamp, dismal swamp. a little lizard there. <laughs> Looks like they're constantly uh, fixing things, but I bet it's a real job. As soon as they have a storm and a tree fall down, they have to fix some more stuff. But it's such a cool thing to visit though. I think it's worth it. Now there's a tree that fell down. There's some of the swamp winding through here. Whoa. <laughs> okay, tripping hazard, chicken wire sticking up in the air, and me not watching where I'm going. <laughs> 
Good thing there were railings there to keep me from falling into the swamp. And there's our rest area. And the end should just be up there. Okay, we got another lizard hiding from us. So we are on the Azalea Trail. There are indeed azaleas. It's a little bit muddy in spots, but it's not too bad. It's actually kind of dry right now, so I imagine if it just rained, it might be more muddy. Ooh, this is a rickety bridge. We started uh, by the boardwalk for the Azalea Trail. It was kind of hard to find in the beginning, but we did pick it up again, and it's marked pretty good now, and it's pretty well worn. But in the beginning, it was pretty hard to see. But yeah, you can see another marker with a guy on it, a green guy this time, a green marker on the tree. Does this look like a trustworthy bridge? <laughs> I'm sure it is, but it's been here a while. It kind of gives way under your feet a little bit. There's a marker. And another well-worn bridge, a little bouncy. There's the train track, there's our marker. So we'll see, last time we hiked this trail, we showed up right at the base, the southern tip of this trail, and all of a sudden a train came blasting to here and honked his horn really loudly and we about jumped. So we'll see if that happens. There's two sections, the Azalea Spring Trail, from where we came out and first saw the tracks to this road. And the signs will take you up into the woods, but don't do it. It's clear for a little bit, and then it goes into pretty much just thickets up there. And then you're left trying to scale down a cliff. But why they're still sending you up there, I have no idea. But don't go that way. Once you see the tracks, go out, walk next to the track. Keep an eye out for trains. <laughs> and they are pretty frequent on the, these tracks, so... Um, be ready to get off of them. So we're looking for the signs. The trail's actually over there. We're paralleling it. But I can see uh, green markers here and there. And eventually it's going to turn inwards. So there's this W sign and it, there's kind of an opening off the tracks. And that's where you can join back up with the green trail. There's green markers all along. Oh, you look. see. Oh, there's a marker fell down. There's a green marker on the tree. Green marker there. And then there's one on that tree up there, which is probably hard to see. But it basically heads, starts heading up this hill. Okay, we're on the eastern side of the Azalea Loop now heading north away from the tracks and up to the northern part and then eventually we'll cross the road. It brought us to the parking lot. Such a beautiful day. So far once we uh, found where it picked up after the train tracks, it's been really well marked with bright green along here so that's good. Alright, we made it back. It's time to change and get some lunch. It's a beautiful day. It was a fun hike. Even the uh, trails that are hard to find sometimes are still fun because they're kind of an adventure. So, And we like this park because there are so many, so many trails here and you can stay out overnight. So we recommend backpackers come here. It's a great place to come. It's been a fun trip. We're glad we came. Uh, we hope you come hike here too. This is a probably little known place to backpack, but really great place to backpack in western Tennessee. You should definitely come. We'll see you next time.